build an embryo educational efficacy of 3D printed embryo models in pieces or M block in enhancing spatial and temporal anatomy learning. So here is my email address and Twitter handle. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And here is the example of the 3D printed embryo model used in this study. So embryology is fundamental to adult anatomy, anatomical variation, and congenital anomalies. However, in medical education, embryology has had minimal contact hours for a long time compared to other courses. Also, students tend to have a hard time understanding 3D and 4D aspects of the rapid embryonic development with studying 2D figures from the textbooks. So previous studies from our lab developed the 3D printed embryo model and tested its educational efficacy compared to other learning resources. And the results show that 3D printed embryo model is more effective than other resources. Also in that study, students wanted more interactive feature, like they wanted to take models apart like Legos um, with the constructive feedback and the literature supports that building blocks enhance um, spatial visualization ability. We developed the 3D printed modular model for the head and neck development. So on the left side, it's the 3D printed embryo model and block. So you can see all the internal structures are intact in a solid single piece. And on the right side, it's the modular 3D printed embryo model. And you can see pharyngeal apparatus can be detachable. I know it's not a lot of pieces, but it still gives visual access to certain internal structures. So we obtained histological slides from the Carnegie collections and we segmented and rendered to make these 3D printed embryo models. And it's with fifth embryo head and neck region. So we chose the head and neck development because we wanted to help students visualize these complex structures within small regions to reduce their cognitive load. Um, also in this study, we wanted to see how these interactive feature would affect on student learning and um, students' spatial understanding of the embryonic anatomy. So hypothesis is learning head and neck development with 3D printed embryo models in multiple pieces will give better learning outcomes compared to learning from the same model and block. So the study was exempted by Colorado Internal Review Board and we recruited 184 first year med students enrolled in an integrated gross anatomy course. And the study was conducted during their active learning review session. And all the participants took the pre-quiz which you have the spatial and non-spatial items. And spatial items tested embryonic structures, organs, spatial relations to each other. And non-spatial item tested more lecture-based contents. Then they were randomized into two groups, control group who interacted with the single piece model and experimental group who interacted with the modular 3D printed models. And each group engaged in self-directed learning group activities. Uh, they were provided with the worksheet, which had the same concept, same learning objectives, and same instructions. After the activity, uh, they took the post quiz, uh, which had the same number of items, but different items from the pre-quiz. Then they took the optional survey. After that, they switched the learning resources and they completed the respective worksheets. As they exit the review session, they selected their preferred model. All the data analysis were completed with these tests quantitatively and qualitatively. So in our learning outcomes comparison, regardless of the model type, both control and experimental groups, post quiz performance enhanced significantly with an effect size of 0.47, which indicates interaction with the 3D printed embryo models has a positive effect on student learning. Furthermore, we compare the spatial and non-spatial item performance uh, for control and experimental groups. Um, both groups 
post-quiz performance increased significantly for spatial item with effect size of 0.45. Interestingly, the post-quiz score of the control group was significantly higher than the experimental groups. For non-spatial items coded blue, there was no significant difference between pre and post quizzes within the groups. Also, there was no significant different difference in pre and post quizzes between groups, which indicates interaction with the 3D printed models has a positive effect on stu students' spatial understanding of the embryonic anatomy, um, but interaction with the model and block, which is single piece, um, is more effective for um, spa spatial understanding. Before they switched the learning resources, they rated the assigned 3D printed embryo models in both group um, perceived highly in that the model was engaging and they would use the model for other regions. And also they would recommend the models to future students. And there was no significant difference between responses between groups. After they interacted with both resources, they selected their preferred models. And both groups selected modular models as their preferred models, even though the results showed the higher um, learning outcomes for spatial items um, from interaction with model and block, which is single piece. Thematic analysis on comments revealed the both group have similar strength in that the model gives um, tactile learning style and better visualization. Also, um, constructive themes were similar in that they wanted more tutorials like video tutorials in using 3D printed models. Also, they wanted more clear temporal dimension on the model. In conclusion, 3D printed embryo models is effective learning resources in student learning and spatial understanding of embryonic anatomy for the head and neck um, development. However, control groups who interacted with the single piece model uh, performed better for spatial items than the experimental group who interacted with the modular model, which is multiple pieces. Therefore, the hypothesis is rejected. Regardless of the result, um, students still prefer the modular model. And students perceive the 3D printed embryo models as effective visual aids but they wanted more passive way to learn from the models. There were several limitations in this study. There were only 15 minutes to interact with the models and different group dynamics. And there were only one detachable piece from the modular model. And only short-term analysis was completed. And 11 items were tested in pre-quiz and post-quiz. I want to acknowledge everyone on this slide who made this project possible. Especially, I want to thank Dr. Lee, my mentor, uh, for giving me this amazing opportunity to work with her. Thank you, and please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.